If accepted, S510 would preclude the public's right to grow, own, trade, transport, share, feed, that means livestock, and eat. Each and every food that nature makes, it will become the most defensive authority against the cultivation, trade, and consumption of food and agricultural products of one's choice. It will be unconstitutional and contrary to the law, or if you like, the will of God. Dr. Shiv Chopra, Canadian health uh, whistleblower. Uh, a lot of stuff came out about that, so... So I just talked to the guy in charge of all organic food in America. That's the USDA National Organic Program. When you go into a store um, and you see something that says organic, that's him. He's the guy in charge of that. He's the guy. I talked to him. Um, and so here's what we have. We have all this news. Alex Jones... Um, you know, everybody's talking about how the food is poison, and it is. Okay, I mean, fluoride, aspartame, all the huge list, and Alex Jones has it all down. Uh, all this garbage, GMOs, um, basically weaponized food. Food that's designed to kill you, sterilize you, make you get sick, shorten your life, lower your IQ. That's a big one. And then Codex Alimentarius is um, the plan to, to weaken the food supply, control the food supply, control the population through food. Um, basically, this is genocide. This is pure genocide. And S510 is part of Codex Alimentarius. It's part of Monsanto. It comes from the United Nations. This is genocide. This is part of the chemtrail, the aerosol spraying is part of that, which was documented in the movie, in the video, what in the world are they spraying, it's exactly what they talked about in the movie, it's Monsanto, it's GMOs, that's what the spraying is, um, they support population control, population reduction, sterilization, um, anyway, and so with all this going on, you, you, why not just talk to the guy in charge of all organic food? They call the one side conventional. And what they call conventional is the weaponized tier of food. The tier of food that's poison, that's designed to reduce and control the population by reducing fertility, reducing IQ, reducing life expectancy, increasing disease rates, which feeds into the healthcare system that they also run, which is designed to financially enslave you, make you sick, reduce your life, and so on. Okay? Now the organic, the organic standard, the national organic standard, is part of this whole system, this whole planned system. You have a two-tiered system because they don't believe people are any different than animals. There's no sharp distinction between human and animal. So, um, the upper tier is the elite, that's them, and then the lower tier is, is everybody who's on a lower level. So they get the lower level of food, and they need the organic standard because that's supposedly the, the elite level of food for the elite people. Um, it's, it's basically, in reality, um, the only food that anybody who who is who doesn't want to die the only food that's fit for a human being's consumption or an animal for that matter the only food that's that you should be ever even consider eating is organic okay so that's in reality here's the deception the deception is that organic truly is the minimum standard but just like you have subhumans the elite look at people as either superhuman, that's them, or subhuman. They don't see it as just human. Everything is a hierarchy, okay? So the minimum standard, the bare minimum standard that any human should ever eat is organic. But they have a substandard, a subhuman, substandard food, and that's what they call deceptively conventional because it's aimed at a target population that that food is aimed at. 
and that's the food that comes from Monsanto. It's full of GMOs. It's full of fluoride. It's basically poison. And Alex Jones listed all the poisons that are in it. It's designed to reduce the population. 